Greetings everyone, and Great here for another Age of Empires 4 replay. Replay, blah. Well, on the bottom left side is the pink Ottomans, we have a foreign name. Small on the top the right side is the green Byzantians with L C O O. C S O. I have no doubt how to pronounce that. Either way, since both uh, Ottomans don't get advanced berries, but Byzantians do have extra very uh, olive oil drop off in which the base production of berries have increased so collective berries are now even more fruitful for the Byzantians so it's even more effective for them nice little buff for them but their olive groves have been nerfed so now they cost the same as farms and some other uh, miscellaneous bug fixes in this patch back to all here so you can see the comments that may pop up Ottomans, of course, have new Vizier. I've already cast him once. I'm curious if we're going to see the Horse Archer, the unique Horse Archer unit. It is an H2 unit, available in Vizier level 2. Grand Winery now being deployed in the field. But that should give him a good amount of food and olive oil. Twin Mineral Metaries now being deployed in. Wait a second. Which berry bushes are now harvested wood 50% faster. Berry bushes are uh, cooked after that. So that was the same, right? Yeah, that's the same. So now. Hmm. Are these berry bushes, do they have a different collection rate as a modifier? Or do they have the same collection rate with a percentage multiplier? This may that the berry changes may have buffed the twin minaret mitteries, or it is still the same and they need to adjust the tooltip. I honestly cannot tell. I probably will have to sit down, take a look at it, and stop watch it. Maybe look at the mod files. Yeah, I should be able to look the uh, the uh, mod tools and take a look at that. We also have early olive grove, which are of course now full 75 wood. It looks like Pink is eyeing for some stone collection, so he's pulling eyeing, nope, military schools, maybe a, what's gonna call it, a secondary town center later, going for double military school at the moment. Let's make sure we have Pink selected, so we can just make sure here the Vizier points pop up. The initial ones are still the same. Mercenary camp being salvaged is now going for the Western mercenary contract. He did not want any uh, Zunch news or mercenary war elephants. And the other one spawned a little bit farther away. Or mercenary royal knights or mercenary horse archer. We got this. Oh, long boom should be very good. As I saw with a previous replay, it feels like archer units are very, very effective versus. Uh, Janissaries now, so these longbowmen should be incredibly useful. Having that bonus damage versus light gunpowder now. I'm trying to push my forward, does get some good damage there on that villager. Lumitani, of course, are slightly more expensive than other spearmen. We'll fall for more health, no additional armor like the Donzo. Take time to scatter the deer. Very nice. Pulling back the wounded uh, villagers. Scout does take a nice arrow volley there. Deer has been scattered. So just, no, go for the mill. I say go for the mill right there. We do have zero point now available. I don't see any sheep over there. Let's just sort of keep an eye here. He goes for the Imams. Which none of these villagers are quite wounded, so that is going to be quite nice. We've got more aggression being pulled on in by the Byzantine player. Going for Lumitani, Mercenary Longbowman. We've got survival techniques not being researched by the Ottoman player. He does find the Longbowman there at the Sapahi. He also sees the Lumitani and the Longbowman pushing his way forward. He does lose a villager there. Longbowman is still very nice to use. 
good damage on this, but we'll just takes out two of them or three of them. Spahi and Scout falling back now. Oh, we got a fast uh, siege engineers. I did not pay attention to that, so we've got some Creosypes now being pulled on the field. There's a blacksmith. Yo, siphons, of course, give them a little bit extra range and be easier protecting with some long bones since they can, since the Kuro siphons sit back a little bit farther. I wonder how did the Kuro siphons get changed? They, of course, have 95% range resist. Oh, the damage, I have no idea. That seems like the safe. I have no idea what the uh, Creo Siphon's uh, damage was beforehand. His body activated 4 to 2, increasing attack speed by 50%. Getting some good damage there. Imam's healing up some of these units. Pushing back forward once again. Pull back some wounded Imam there. These Imams are going to be very critical for this defense. Very nice. We've now pulled some uh, minor loss. I'll take it to the middle. Another minor loss. He's a great healing across these forces. He hasn't lost anything. He's lost, uh... Green so far has killed off five villagers. Game, nobody's lost any military units so far this game. Just, uh, Pink losing some villagers. She still has a superior number of villagers right now. Housing there. Got a good number of olive groves here. The outpost being established. Creosypes now taking out the town center. It's probably charged by four. He's focused on this little Tanny. Spocky. One does go down, but wound one. Little Tanny seeing a bit of fire from the archers. One bone focused on the archers. Very nice. It's probably pushed way forward. And now Spocky should be able to gain some more damage there. The town center is now set up late, so it's mass repairing it. One of the Creos episodes go down, giving Pink a bit more breathing room because it reduced the DPS by 33%. One of these spy is almost down. Another spy goes down. Town Center is oh, out of wood. So Town Center is probably dead. He's been a wood now. He's master burning it now with more filters. He's going to be burning that wood pretty quickly. He's throwing more fuel in the fire, if you will. Most of these long going out down, takes another spot heat. Remember, well, scouts also have bonus damage versus siege, so bring the scout forward like that is very useful. And does the town center. Golden Horn Tower is now being established. He's seen multiple out of wood notifications there, so he knows his opponent's lost quite a bit of economy. He's also cut off five villagers. Right now, Pink does have a superior number of villagers by a significant margin. Second town tower sound. But second town centers do go a long way by being stationary. More mining research now being researched. Good spear brace there. Long Bowman falling back, but the veterans. Mercenary contracts, as well as Arden Lumitani. Arden Mercenary contracts gives them access to the land connects, which is not going to be useful against these archers. But just stick to Longbowman. He is going for some cataphracts, another good item at this point in time. His one does not have any spearmen to counter them. You can always go for some Zoom Schnoos, which could be useful. War Elephants, that could also be useful. Or for the uh, Mercenary Horse Rushers, first Mercenary Royal Knights. My turn now established. And two Imams still alive as well. Come on, 
outpost and mill not being set up here. Just trying to collect some more of the forest puffers. Not too many deer carcasses remaining. Got this one here, which has full, as well as that one there. Oh, there's also this one here. So there's actually half deer remaining. Got a crack on long bone straight forward. Cataphracts will cause some issues. They're super heavy cavalry. And now Cataphracts, we have four armor. We've got the trample bullets utilized there. If he charges forward with six uh, cataphracts on the same line, he can one-shot the archers. So the imams are getting ripped apart there. All the imams go down. They got Istanbul Imperial Palace not being established. Getting more vizier points. It has been buffed, so now it provides three vizier points rather than two to accommodate the more vizier he can bring on in. In other words, more of his, it's funny how they buff the Istanbul Imperial Palaces simply give you more options to sink your vizier points into. And now the Istanbul Imperial Palace is actually really nice because you get a lot more options just to utilize. Because now there's 12 options instead of nine, and you still have the only five same a uh, max vizier. I'm pretty sure still just max five. Turn up the five vizier. He has gone for increased military campus, has not gone for the unique cavalry archers. Also has 11 idle villagers. Rio Siphon now being researched. Zenny player also has quite a bit of stone at the moment. Maybe I'm for a keep somewhere. Maybe keep on cinematic map to uh, keep control of the sacred site. Also, some monks would be half bad to get some relics. He does have two inside of here. He gets an army of 14 versus an army of 27. His anti player just has so many long bowmen. It's good damage there. A bit of trample there. Takes out all those spearmen. The cataphracts are still alive. Falling back to a, a monk wouldn't be half bad. They're very wounded. That one does get impaled. 13 defensive place uh, defensive arrows here. He does not have the crossbowman one for increased heavy damage, which at this point in time, probably not that useful since most of this one's army is not heavy. The plus one base damage could be nice. Jenny try to avoid being like that. Creole siphons more than being established now. More Sapahi being pulled on the field. And there's also some farms up here that maybe not a great spot for farms. Plus one range damage for right now for the Xantian player. Going for some long bone, or not long bone, Janissary is engaged in long bone, which is not a good idea. Long bone, as well as most archers, has the plus one or plus eight versus light gun party units, which Janissaries are. <coughs> And not to mention they still have their 7 range, so that's they're going to be very effective against them. Has captured all the sick sites. It's also going for massive round stone walls. Not going good for pink. Going for more villagers. 
I'll grab a pair of lancers. Most of his military structures have gone down. He has built some more back here. He's going for some Maganels. Spot he received a bit of damage there. He has a good number of military to protect, however. Metro took a lot of free damage there. Metro will go down. Spotty just being uh, got aggroed in and they get wiped on out. Big loss there for Pink. He can't be folding those losses. Three sides push forward. Janissary is firing away. Does fire volley there. So it's siege damage. We'll be able to penetrate all the armor over here. Yeah. I've got some lands connects on the field. Another zero point could be brought in by pink. May need to go for Janissary companies. Oh no, he brings the great bomb bar. He's already passed the Janissary company. So he has a early Great Bombard. Please tell me it's called Early Great Bombard. Nope, it's just called Great Bombard. It says it's weaker in this age. 55 damage, bonus average, building ship, infantry. <clears throat> I don't know how much weaker it is in this age. Uh, should be able to put some holes in these walls. Or engineer company now being set for the Byzantine player, which will give them the arrow volley research. Now, says so a spring, uh, so now spring golf here. No longer is anti oh, armor piercing. Uh, it's no longer the anti oh, still anti ship. That's good to remember, but it's also now an anti melee infantry tool. And when it says anti or armor piercing, does it mean it goes? I know it's supposed to go through multiple targets, but does it actually go through? Does that armor piercing back means it ignores the armor? If it does, it'll just say siege damage rather than range damage, wouldn't it? I am just mistaken. Now, it's not going through this, so maybe the armor piercing means it's, it can pierce through multiple units rather than it ignores ranged armor. Who knows? Metter pushing up here, trying to decapture the sick site. No defensive placement here. Got some various research up here, including elite mercenary research. Forging company should get these longbowmen, their arrow volley ability. Actually, they do not, unless we need to switch over to green. Yep, we just had to switch over them, so he does have the arrow volley ability. Got these forces moving around. <clears throat> also, one thing I has been decaptured, so the thing I victory is no longer active. And effects here in small numbers, so we got elite hit squad, which should be able to charge down the siege units. Overruns all those units, gets on top of them. Long one firing away. Great Bombard needs to hit those of two units quite hard. And Ink does back up the game now. That's Ant Great saying, I think watching. And on to the next replay.